Hello everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. Here's a video that might be informational to all. I just did some research before I started my day. Here in Virginia, it's May 31st, 2022. I'm an over the road truck driver. I've been driving for 22 years. You hear me say it all the time, blah, 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 blah. But a couple of people asked me about to do a video about the crude oil. Now there's different types of crude oil. There's heavy and light, and you know, you hear it all in the media, it all depends. But here is from the energy.gov website. Energy.gov website. And they were gonna here's the breakdown of what it takes and what is a barrel of oil you hear on the all the time. So let's cue that intro. <laughs> I don't know if you all know this or not. A barrel of oil is 42 US gallons. 42 gallons to makes one barrel of crude oil. I thought it was 56. I was wrong. Okay, like I said, I got most of this information from energy.gov. Crude oil is 42 gallons for a barrel. You hear barrel on the TV and in the news all the time. A barrel of oil crude oil is 42 gallons like i said there's different types of crude oil there's light there's heavy there's dark there's this there's that there's different types of crude oil but this is just the general information from the energy.gov and at the end of this video uh, near the end of the video i'll do an update may 31st what's the national fuel prices but a barrel of oil is 42 u.s gallons of that, 43.3% are gasoline, which is a little bit, uh, is 19.36 gallons of one barrel of oil. Diesel fuel is 22.4% or 10 gallons, 0 0.004 per barrel of oil. Jet fuel, 8.7%, which is 3.9 gallon, 3.1 gallons per barrel of oil. LP, now that's 3.8%, which is 1.72 gallons per barrel of oil. Now, they do make other things out of crude oil. Greases, lubricants, oils for your car, but I will show a screenshot right here of the breakdown. Like American Navy here at this rest area. I'm just finishing my 10 hour break and filming this video. Here it is the day after Memorial Day. How great is this? God bless our country. Right now, we need all the prayers we can get. Something you don't see every day. A busload of Thank you for your service, men and women. Thank you for your service. And there's a couple more scraggling in. They probably were doing something for Memorial Day weekend and coming back to Norfolk. I'm just outside of Richmond, Virginia on I-64. 
eastbound. Yeah. That uh, right there was uh, the true heroes, people who serve. But uh, I just checked the EIA.gov. Here comes some more, maybe. Uh, they have not updated their website yet. It's 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, May 31st, 2022. It's supposed to be updated sometime in the day. Yesterday was Memorial Day weekend. But this video here was talking about the crude oil and what is the breakdown of crude oil. Like I said, 42 gallons, just a quick synopsis, 42 gallons is a barrel of oil, which you hear on the internet. Out of a barrel of oil, oil 42 gallons, 19.36 goes to gasoline and gasoline products. 10 gallons is diesel fuel out of a barrel of oil. So that's right at 35 gallons of 42 or gas and diesel. Jet fuel is almost four gallons and LP is 1.72. Now there's different things they make out of crude oil like I have said, uh, different greases and everything else. But that is the breakdown of crude oil. Tried to give you an update for May 31st, 2022's fuel from last week and they haven't updated it yet. Oh, there you all are. Get my hammer ready, my trusty gloves ready. Tom walk around this trailer and truck to do my pre-trip. So, let me, let's walk around, let's do a quick pre-trip. I've already done under the hood. I forgot to show you. People don't think I get out of the truck. I'm out of the truck all the time. So let's do a quick walk around. everyone asking about inside of a reefer. This is the inside of a reefer trailer. Loads out of Pottsville they don't like to sweep. Got, uh, you see some load locks. Here's the chute to get the air to the back. This is the inside of a reefer trailer for those asking. I'm going to a plant that has a washout. They'll wash it out there. Tyson products do you eat? That's the question. So, that was a quick walk around. Showed you inside of my trailer. Let's get back up in this truck. I got a few more things to talk about. You just saw me walk around the truck. Showed you back in the trailer. Coldest water bottle. Ice has been in here for three days. Yeah. Lake to the coldest water bottle. 
will be down below. It does help support the channel. But here's a couple of things I think why fuel prices are high. It's not the war in Russia and Ukraine. We've had high fuel prices way before that started. Fuel prices are going through the roof, which in turn, everything will go through the roof, unfortunately. But here's some more points, what I think you might want to hear. One reason why fuel prices are high. Well, I'll give you a couple. Some is the Biden administration. They are putting regulations and stopping permits and pulling permits for drilling on United States owned oil, uh, ground, Alaska, Gulf Coast of, uh, in the Gulf Coast, on the uh, coast that lines all over the United States. Now, the first thing he did when he signed, when he uh, was sworn in, one of the first things he did, January 21st, 22nd, 2021, he's been, only been in office for a year and a half. First, one of the first things he did was stop the Keystone Pipeline, which in turn cost thousands and thousands of people their jobs. It cost a lot of different places business. They had to pull stop right then. Pipeline is the safest way to transport fuel oils. Now in my other videos I talked about you can't transport all oil products via pipeline. No, you can't pull a uh, DEF fluid. You can't use pipeline to haul renewable energy. What is renewable energy? Corn which makes ethanol. Now they can make diesel out of some soybeans. They can make diesel out of algae. Diesel out of used cooking oil. They can make diesel fuel, biofuel out of. That's just to name a few. But he stopped the pipeline right then and there. Boom. He's pulled permits so people can't drill. I like I have been saying, drill here, drill now. We have the oil under our feet. There's places in the country, Alaska's full of oil, North Dakota's full of oil, Gulf of Mexico is full of oil. Drill here, drill now. We're we're getting better and better at drilling oil safely, not hurting the environment. Now fracking, to me, I think that is hurting the environment. I'm not into fracking. I know people, I've seen stories where you can light your water on fire because of fracking. But drill here, drill now. We get the oil under our feet. Let's not give our money to overseas. And everyone who keeps talking about, oh, I'm glad I drive an electric vehicle. How do you think that, where do you think that lithium comes from that batteries? That's dug underground. That's mined, stripped mine. How long does those batteries last? Three to five years? How much are those batteries? I've been hearing reports some batteries are up to $20,000. But you don't pay nothing. Okay. How long do you, can, how far can you go on an electric vehicle? 300 miles? 500 miles? And then how long does it take to charge back up? They have been saying the electric grid ain't good enough to support all Americans to go on nothing but electric. Do you have three to five hours to wait for your batteries to charge back up? Because you want to go from North Carolina to California? How many times do you have to stop for three to five hours to charge? Now, if you're staying in the same area, yes, I could see. I wanted to buy a Jeep. Wrangler. They make a uh, battery and gasoline powered Jeep. I was really looking at getting that. My wife works three miles from the house. That would have been perfect for her. All she had to do was back in, in the garage, plug it up. They say a charge let you can go about 30 miles on a charge. And then your gasoline engine will fire up. You're not stopping and waiting for to sit at a plug waiting for somebody to plug up. Now, what happens with a, these fully 100% electric cars? When they run out of juice, you're not going nowhere. Now, the tires, they got crude oil 
parts and, and tires. So we cannot just not get away from crude oil. The Democrats are pushing the Green New Deal. This is fact. We know this. We know Joe Biden put stopped the Keystone Pipeline. When Before Joe Biden took office in 2021, gas in my house was $2.05 a gallon. Two weeks after he, him in office, gas was $2.25 a gallon. That's just if I get one gas station I go by. And right now, I think it's like $4.59, $4.61, something like that, for the gas at the truck stop by my house. But I just wanted to give you a breakdown of crude oil. 42 gallons is one barrel. Now, like I said, they make different types of crude oil. And uh, I was hoping to give you the update on the fuel. I might have to do that as a short. So watch out for it. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please uh, ask, leave comments. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can send me messages there. Uh, yeah. Hope everyone has a great day.